Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's May 2021. <sighs> Can you feel the shift? We are in such an energy thanks to the lunar eclipse that we had last month and the pandemic and everything that's been going on. Believe it or not, we're shifting. We're shifting more into that essence, that energy of being. And I love it. If you're not feeling it, let's chat, you and me. And perhaps you would be a lovely candidate to join our new program, the BU program. I will share a bit more about that at the end of this video. So if you are somewhat intrigued, stay tuned. But for now, let's bring out the cards and see what the angels, the gang, would like to share with us for the month of May. Hmm. There's so many things going on. There's so many lovely new horizons, new ways to be within our world. It's going to be rather actually very exciting. So our theme will be indeed the truth. So as I share this video and I share the information about the BU program, sit within your heart. Take certainly what resonates and if it doesn't resonate, before you completely discard it, think, okay, is it just simply triggering something within me? Which is meaning we could dig a little bit deeper and acknowledge, recognize, love. So what that trigger is can be a was. So it's, it's always an interesting adventure when it comes to the truth. You know, it's not playing into what we are all <laughs> fed on social media, the news even, and so on. But it's really looking at what's the source? Where is it coming from? And the truth, because working more and more and more with Mary Magdalene, the truth really settles in with, it's not going to make you upset. The truth resonates here in our heart center. The truth is empowering, can be challenging because sometimes we don't understand the message completely. So there's a challenge to wrap our, our notions, our way of currently being around that new concept. So sit with it if it does trigger you a little bit before you completely discard it. So it's a different spin this month that Haniel brings out that message of the truth. And that'll be our, all of us, our theme for the month of May. That's rather exciting. Puts us a little bit more, not a little bit, a whole lot more in the driver's seat of discernment. Puts us in the driver's seat of, guess what? We are in control of how we wish to be in our world whether it's our career, relationships, prosperity, health, joy, our sacred space. So keep thinking about that and let's see what's next. <laughs> Haniel, yet again. So here is our next message of, but it's physical body this time. So if you're a little like me, in the sense that maybe put on a little weight during the pandemic, not saying I did saying I did. <laughs> it's going, all right, you know what? That's really not of service to us because when we run to those comfort foods, yes, they're, they're yummy, they're comforting, but they're not going to be empowering. They just simply not. It's, it's typically very loaded with carbohydrates, which turns to sugar, which is a drug, and we want more of it, but it doesn't nourish us physically. So now, my darling, you are being challenged to pay attention to not only what you're putting in your mouth, but then how are you detoxing? Are you exercising a little bit? This is not jumping from doing nothing or doing a little bit to full steam, but do it at your own pace. Something is better than nothing, but don't be just a weekend warrior and go full steam and I'm going to go do this and then don't do nothing for the following week. It's that consistency. It's staying in the room 
when it comes to your physical body. This will also, Haniel is saying, be aware of your thoughts. Hmm. How are your thoughts affecting your physical body? If you find yourself under a lot of stress, you're overthinking, that can lead to a physical ulcer, but it starts in that mental plane. So all these different ways we can address our physical body in the coming month. Yeah, because this is the sacred temple of ours. God, it's fantastic. And it's always giving us clues to what's working and what's not working. It's up to us as the steward of this physical thing to pay attention and go, okay, if I want this thing to serve me for 15, 20, 50 more, 100, 75 more years, better pay a bit more attention to it and tend to it. <clears throat> Zachiel comes in with that message of timing. So building on that physical body card, think about what I just said. Don't jump everything into it because that's often a recipe for failure. Little small steps, increment steps will make for lasting results. So allow the timing of what you want to come forward. Are you being proactive daily? Are you working towards the way you wish to be in the world? daily? Are you being consistent? Are you showing up? Kind of tough questions sometimes to ask yourself, but if we're honest, we will get honest answers back and learn, relearn, remember different ways we can be so the timing can in some ways speed up a little bit. Raziel comes in with that message of unwind. Hmm, doesn't that feel good? Hmm, just breathe a little bit. Allow the brain, this brilliant brain of yours, intelligence, you know, we think about all these things. Just take a little bit of a breather. Hmm, unwind, settle into your heart space a bit more. This, remember, your heart's the birthplace of your soul, never lies. This, the ego lives up here in the brain. It's gonna lie to you all the time. So unwinding, if you are running with fear as your dance partner, and if you are one, I'm sorry, but two, unwinding a little bit reminds us that there are so many more options out there because we only know what we know. So if you are relaxing, unwinding, new ideas, new concepts, new ways to achieve what you want can and will be presented. <laughs> I love how they're building on this. Gabriel, creativity. So now we've got that message of the truth, right? That was the message for this, the theme for the month. Now we have Gabriel right here for the creativity, sacral chakra, thinking about how many ways or what could we do differently in order to unwind, to tend to our sacred vessel, also known as the physical body, to better understand the timing of things? Because, you know, if you force it, if, you, if you're really focused and laser in on it, it takes longer. It takes longer, you know, that impatience really settles in and we become annoyed because it's not happening. And I did it, but it's not happening creative. Allow yourself to sit back a little bit and go, okay, there's timing. There's all these different things I could do. Hmm. What else, Gabriel, could I do to achieve my truest desires? I love it. Guardian Angel shows up. This, this is your best friend that happens to have wings and a halo. This is the root card for this month. So get to know your guardian angel a bit better. If you have a name, fantastic. If you don't, this is Raphael's sigil. Raphael oversees all the guardian angels. So talk with Raphael and say, kind of embarrassed, I don't know my guardian angel's name. Can you give me one? Can you reintroduce us? 
they're only too happy. They know that we're not paying attention to them. And they're being very, very, very patient to go, okay, when they're ready, they'll ask. So this card says you're ready. So get to know your guardian angel and allow them to share with you new horizons, new ways of being, new ways to show up in the world, new ways to take better care of your physical body, new ways to understand who's telling the truth and maybe who's not telling the truth or what is your truth. And last but not least, I love this. It wraps it all up beautifully. Gabriel yet again with manifest. What are you manifesting? So as an example, I shared this with um, a group of amazing goddesses. I had my second vaccine recently and you know, we've all heard stories the second vaccine's worse you're going to get really sick and you know and I've talked with people and it's been kind of scary to be honest but I I want to travel and I want to be able to know my family and I are better protected so vaccine it was but I found myself saying you know the thoughts I don't want the nausea you know I haven't thrown up <laughs> okay, I'm sharing a little bit myself here. I haven't thrown up since I was a child and I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, I didn't want it as a side effect, but I said, you know, I'd be okay with a fever because I could really use some extra sleep. You know what happened? And I just found myself thinking about that over. I don't want the nausea. Don't want the nausea. Having a fever is okay. I could really use a complete day of sleeping. And that's exactly, that is exactly what happened. No nausea, I wasn't hungry, I just, I didn't want food, but I wasn't nauseous. I did run a fever and I did sleep on and off for close to 18 hours. I woke up more rested from that than I did when we just came back from a vacation. True. So be aware of those thoughts. They're incredibly powerful. What are you doing to manifest? Think about you find yourself thinking those thoughts over and over and over again. That's what's going to manifest because that's where your focus is, whether you want it or not. If you're afraid you're going to run out of money and you're hyper focused on that, you will run out of money. If you're, I can't do that because it's too expensive. I can't, I can't, I can't. You won't, which means we'll still be having this conversation in a year or two or unfortunately maybe even longer because you're not allowing, permitting yourself to carry on. It's kind of a big, deep message, isn't it? Whew, that was them. So let me tell you about the BU program. Thanks to Facebook, because you know, it cares about me. <laughs> I realize I have been using the term B, capital B, capital E, for over four years now. It's that way to remind my students and my clients and my customers, be, be here in the center, right here, right here in your heart. Here, we're not centered. We're actually kind of escaping out of our body. When we're here, we can be very grounded, very present, and still be very open to the spiritual world and getting ideas and getting inspirations and indeed chatting with the angels. So I developed, this took a long time in the making, such a long time, but what I've been seeing is the goddesses that have been part of the program, their lives are changing. They are becoming very clear on who they are. In fact, two to date have literally changed their names because the name they had growing up didn't resonate. That's how much they've transformed. That's how empowered they've become. They, I see their pictures on social media. The smiles are, are just nonstop. They still have questions like we all do. Am, am I doing the right thing? Am I still moving forward? But where they were before they started the course and where they are now, it's two different people. Their communication with the angelic realm has opened up and it's becoming clearer and clearer. Just like any gift we have, the more we do it, the better it gets. They are starting to manifest what they really desire and not so much what they don't. Their relationships are better. 
but really, honestly, the most important in my book, they're being themselves. They are being true to themselves. Imagine that, being true to you. So if you're interested, pop me a note below. Let's chat. We can chat here publicly. Uh, find me on Facebook, private message me, and there will be a link for the program in my bio right here on YouTube. So thank you so much for listening. I wish you a fabulous, fabulous May. And remember, just be you. Just simply be you. And I so hope to see you in the Be You program. Bye for now.